Um, so first off, I know you were uh, just mentioning it before, but no, thank you for taking the time to uh, uh, speak with Movers and Shakers Unlimited today. Um, I'll start first uh, just by asking like how, uh, how Dark Taurus uh, came together and, and what gave you the wherewithal to say, hmm, this, this is something that we, that, that I should, that I should do. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine, Mark McNeil, who's been making TV in New Zealand for a, a long time, he had the idea of doing a documentary series around dark tourism about 10 years ago. And he, um, he saw a documentary I made called Tickles and he thought, um, that I could be a good person to work with. And so we had a talk about it and, you know, I'm someone who has never particularly enjoyed taking a holiday to like a resort or a beach i'd rather go somewhere that has i don't know something a bit different going on or something uh, unusual and so when he came to me with the idea about dark tourism it's something i was interested in already and i just said like this is a great idea and then we just started looking at all the places we could travel to and some of the moral dilemmas involved and <laughs> we, we um yeah and then netflix came to the party they they were into the idea and so we went and made it all right, awesome. Now, now that's actually a great jumping off point. So I, I guess the next question would be, uh, with the the shows that you, or not the shows, but the places that you eventually would travel to uh, in the show, um, were there any places when, when you were trying to figure out what, what places to do that you were saying to yourself, okay, this isn't extreme enough, or this, this isn't, you know, dangerous enough, or, or or I don't know how I can phrase that, but yeah, no, no, uh, find them scout in those places. Yeah, we we had sort of a dream list of places that you know we did a month or two of research online and just sort of coming up with places that we thought would be incredible, and some places seem really amazing. Like there's a place called Island of the Dolls in um, of Mexico, and it's this really terrifying looking island where just hundreds and hundreds of dolls are hanging from trees because there's a story there where um, a young girl died there years ago and, and someone to, um, to remember them started putting dolls in trees and it's turned into this tourist destination now. And that seemed really amazing on paper and it's a really interesting story. But when we looked into it further, we just sort of found that there wasn't enough there. There wasn't a story enough to sustain um, a documentary um, around it. So there's certain things that were amazing, you know, that seem amazing in a paragraph, but when you expand on the story, you realize it's not going to fit into a documentary format. So we were looking for stories that would either look incredible, places like Turkmenistan, which is kind of the new North Korea, this, this huge $5 billion marble city we wanted to explore. There were stories that um, were full of like moral quandaries, like, um, like nuclear tourism and serial killer tourism and narco tourism. And then there were stories that were more just a bit in the weird category. There were just places and people doing things that were were strange, like meeting real vampires oh, and, people, and that kind of thing, you know. And so those three things we'd kind of tr tried to bring into the show. Gotcha. And and likewise, I'll say conversely, um, were there any places where you know, as you were scouting those places, that you felt okay? Yeah, you know, we're trying to trying to push the envelope here, but perhaps you know that that just maybe taking it just a step too far in terms yeah, of North, North Korea was a place that we were all incredibly interested in getting into just to see how that regime operated from the inside but that just ended up being too dangerous for the crew and for for all of us um and so North Korea is a place that we thought this would be a good idea but uh probably definitely a, a terrible idea at the same time Okay, and and I know you've been quoted as saying in, in other you know interviews that you've had is uh, two things: a the the how this experience has affected sleep, and uh, how uh, it's also brought up like the idea of of in kind of a really um, unexpected way the idea of like death and and people's fascination with death. Um, so can you comment you know more on that and and. Uh, uh, what do you what you think it is you know people's fascination because obviously you know we're sitting here we're talking about this project but uh what do you feel is the viewers a fascination uh that that you know draws them to uh you know experience experience it uh with you yeah i think i mean it's kind of my personal theory and i might be wrong about this but i think everyone deep down is terrified of dying whether they've got a <clears throat> 
a faith or um, or they are not sure or they're atheist. I think everyone has that sort of thing of like, oh man, like what comes next? And I think that dark tourism is a way of starting a conversation about death by looking at how certain people died and what happened. And it's sort of a way to engage with that in a way that's maybe a little bit less scary because you're talking about other people and you're sort of and so but then i think dark tourism is also just about people's morbid curiosity i mean it's as simple as you know when you're driving down the freeway and there's an accident most people will look because they're curious about what's happened and that's not the right response necessarily but it's <laughs> what we all do and i think with dark tourism sometimes it's like that people want to go oh like something awful happened there i want to know more about that and it's it's inexplicable but it's just what people do okay and uh with a lot of uh, the places that you've had an opportunity to visit you know a lot of them of course have been to the detriment of yourself especially with uh the places that that had the the um um the radiation you know issue so uh you know thinking back on it now david now after finishing <laughs> um dark tours versus david then you're like oh i think i want to jump you know i think i want to you know uh, experience that um do you think that you still would have had that same curiosity then that, that you have now oh look i i feel like i've learned an incredible amount over the last year i don't think i would rush to jump back in an atomic lake <laughs> or probably if someone offered me a fish that had been swimming in that atomic lake i probably wouldn't eat it but it's funny what you do in the moment. I mean, when someone is really excited to meet you and you just say you've come all the way from New Zealand to Kazakhstan and they offer you this fish they've caught, you just sort of eat it because you want to be polite. Um, but I probably wouldn't do that again. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the nuclear stuff, I wouldn't, I, I'd probably, you know, I wouldn't want to visit Chernobyl after this. I feel like I've had enough radiation probably for my lifetime um but at the same time i feel very lucky to have visited i mean the you know the places i went and the people i met along the way were so open and so kind i, I just feel kind of like i had a front row seat for some of this stuff cool cool and uh lastly um season two is a possibility you know uh you know i know you were you've been commented before saying if the interest is there you know it, it might be something that you would consider so with that in mind, with all the crazy, you know, places and experiences that you've had over the course of, of, of this series, um, in some morbid way, is there a bucket list of places that you still, still <laughs> feel like you need to experience? Should yeah, I mean, if, if, if Netflix orders more seasons and more episodes, the, we, we do, our whole team has a Google Doc and we've just added, we just, there's a, there's a whole list of places we want to go. Um, the stories we found on the road when we're shooting season one that we didn't know about going in. And, and, you know, ever since the show's gone out, we've had people writing in, you know, from all over the world saying, why didn't you come to my city or why didn't you come to my country? Um, heaps of people writing in from India being like this, crazy thing happened here we want to show you around we want to tell our story and so um awesome. i'd love to go to india so yeah i I've, I've got a list of places as i say probably not radioactive places <laughs> a, a lot of places involved with with the whole dark tourism um area that that we'd be keen to go back to all right awesome well david thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate it uh so dark tourist is currently now on netflix and uh Fingers crossed. I hope I'm looking forward to season two also coming down the line as well. But, but uh, thanks yeah, again thank for you. coming on. Yeah, and all the people that are watching, we hope we get to make more. So um, fingers crossed. <laughs> all right. Take care. Hey, thanks so much. See Bye. you soon.